This is another altered book I made from a cereal box. So this was a cereal box. I do reinforce it with um, some chipboard so it's very nice and strong and it's not too flimsy. Um, on the side here, I actually cover, if you can see right here, these are my signature pages that I sew into the, um, the spine and then I also just kind of cover it with some decorative material. And this is actually um, one of my doodles. I doodle a lot. Um, I found that every time in, I'm in meetings, I'm always doodling something. And someone suggested that I just put these on my books, so I like it. I add some more embellishments, though. You can see here I have a little button there. Here's some little beads. Um, and I used um, polish to kind of highlight some of the colors, so that was kind of different. I'm um, on the inside here and the inside cover. Here's just kind of a 3D kind of... Um, design and put little stones on there. I do like to use flowers, so I have a lot of flowers. These pieces actually come from calendars that people throw away, so it's kind of neat. I use a lot of ribbon, scrap ribbon is whatever I can find, and here's just some costume jewelry. Um, and the inside, um, I do like to emboss a lot. Here's a, some ribbon here, and here's one of the pages, and just designing them afterwards. This black piece of paper is actually the paper that the embossing folders came in, and recycle those as well. This time I added a lot of different positive affirmations in this book. Up here at the top, here is, um, these are half pages just so I can have this, you know, have enough to do the signature piece here. Some costume jewelry. Um, here's some more ribbon. I have a lot of these little flaps so you can add more pictures to it. Down here, another little embossed pattern, and then you could put a picture inside. Around this edge, I like to use a lot of different threads, and I like this thread, so I like to edge things. And here, there's a little more embossing. Some more flowers down here. Um, here again, I like to use some thread and kind of give us some design. Here's another little pattern. I added this little stone on it on this embossed piece. And have in and out. Here's some hearts. Another embossed piece. I like to add these places so you can add descriptions to your photos. And then here, another little pattern. Open it up. Put more pictures, top, bottom. Right here, I kind of glued these papers together and I put some ribbon in between it. And this is just scrap um, ribbon from, I think, Christmas, so I like to reuse those. And this right here is actually um, a f um, flaps, but I added extra, so you can have there and you can add there. On this pattern of the scrap paper, I just kind of outlined it. And here's some more costume jewelry at the top there. And of course, more threading. <laughs> um, here, another flap here, another piece of costume jewelry up there, some pages tab. Um, this edging, edgers right here my daughter gave me for Christmas, so I really like those, kind of give me more um, designs to use. Here, um, here are more embossed pieces. I think this ruler and a postcard, you can open it up, put pictures on the top and the bottom. And then here's some ribbon over here on this side. Another flap, flap out like this. My mom actually said this is one of her favorite books I made, so I like that. Um, put some ribbon there. You can flap that open. Here's another flap. Believe me, there's plenty of room to add pictures and mementos. This right here, another flap up. More of that um, ribbon that I put in between the pages. This is kind of like a wine page for your favorite wine. Right here, you can actually rate your wine. Um, put pictures in it. Um, you can put your label here if you can. And then here's another pattern from my embosser. And you can put some more pictures of who you had the wine with. And then I put just some pieces of, from a bottle of wine. Kind of took those off the bottle. On this page here, another embossed pattern. Colored it in. And then over here on the side, this flap. You can flap it this way and flap it out that way to put pictures. Another little mini flap. And this actually is a Manala envelope that someone was going to throw away, so I even keep those so I can add to it. Here you pull out is actually something that you can add pictures on the front and the back. And it says, love, you and me. This one has a lot of positive affirmations on it. Here's a page that's pretty blank for you to add what you like. Here's some little birds on this. Some trees, I like to color those in. I'm going to go on here. This is kind of towards the last. This right here actually has some Velcro and has pictures you can put here, but you can also lift it up like this, and you have pictures that you can put all in there. At the bottom right there, there's another pattern from my embosser, and it's just a stage. It's so kind of cool. And then here's um, 
another piece of, that's a moon, but that was a piece of costume jewelry, and then I added another little gem in the middle. This little half page, you can add what you like, and then lastly is this page, where you can add more stuff, and that's it. And again, this is very sturdy, um, an old cereal box, and then I used some chipboard to reinforce it. So thanks for stopping by.